The greatest untapped potential for mobile money currently, I think, is merchant payments. There's huge opportunity for growth if we can digitize those small, really frequent payments that people are making on a daily basis. Um, it will increase usability, increase the value proposition, and, and also help businesses, small and medium-sized micro-businesses, uh, immensely. Is really about day-to-day -day life of uh, our customers. Uh, being able to use my mobile money account from the morning to the evening, whatever my uh, uh, activity of the day is. Uh, so I think we really need to, uh, to improve the merchant payment uh, transactions and that's where uh, people will really see the difference and use um, mobile money on the day-to-day -day basis. I feel like, you know, mobile money has great potential in a country um, like Sri Lanka where the bottom of the pyramid does not have a lot of options and, you know, this is a, a great opportunity to kind of um, give them, to get them financial inclusivity and to get them onto digital payments, to get them uh, understanding on what options they have uh, when it comes to um, digital payments. So I think that is one of the, uh, from a Sri Lankan context, I think that is is uh, the greatest potential it has in our country. It's the interoperability between mobile wallets and the card, and we've seen great um, uh, industry taking great strides towards that with the launch of the Visa Global Service by Safaricom. That will enable mobile money consumers and businesses to be able to connect to the digital and global economy, to be able to leverage the card rails, and to connect with the global enterprises and the rest of the world. First of all, it is the most accessible digital financial service to the majority of the population who are, who are left out of the formal banking sector. So the role that it plays is making it accessible, affordable, and then being a tool in which people can rely on to support their daily needs and provide resilience. We're, we're facing a world of immense shock. So whether it's a global pandemic, whether it's climate change, natural disasters, uh, war and unrest, financial services can be a safety net. Uh, and as simple as a savings account, which many people just don't have access to currently. So if we can use mobile money to provide that level of safety net, we can improve the financial health of people through a variety of shocks that they're facing. Mobile money's role is um, that, you know, uh, when your money is uh, on your mobile money account, it's, it's safe. Um, and, uh, and you know that you have so many uh, options to, to use this money. Uh, you can send it to, uh, to a friend or family, uh, you can uh, uh, pay your bills, etc. So mobile money is a real change in the daily life of uh, our customers. For sure we can do more, uh, but already we have uh, this big uh, change uh, in comparison with, uh, with 10 years ago. Basically taking digital transactions to new uh, heights and ensuring that more verticals and more sectors of the economy are digitized through mobile money services. Also looking forward to seeing how the spin-offs and the movement to separating mobile money services from the core telco business works and how mobile money services can be more agile and proactive in running and pushing their agenda. There's like 22 million population in Sri Lanka, and but we've got uh, 33 million mobile connection penetration. So, which means that there's more mobile connections than um, actual the number of people. So, you know, um, this gives gives us a great opportunity to kind of um, uh, introduce mobile money to people and really kind of teach them um, like about finance inclusivity and uh, you know the safety of using um, digital payments and, you know, the, the, the options they have. There are two things that really excite me about the future of mobile money. One is how mobile money will support small and medium businesses to help grow the economy. And the second one is to see how mobile money will go one level deeper in terms of inclusion, in particular uh, with women. The most exciting thing for me about the next decade is getting mobile phones and mobile money into the hands of the one billion women 
who still remain underserved by the formal financial sector.